Well, I guess what sets SpeedX apart, apart from obviously the, the awesome people we have working here, is I guess the, the set of uh, patented technologies that we've developed over the years that, that ultimately deliver superior multiplexing. We could do this panel of up to 100 mutations in sort of a few cartridges that is really game changing for oncology. But there's a real need for the same kind of technology in infectious diseases. Diseases such as mycoplasma genitalium and gonorrhea, there is a real problem with an increasing resistance to current treatments. I guess ultimately what we are delivering is actionable information for clinicians. So no need for interpretation or guessing on whether the, the bacteria is going to be treated effectively with their frontline antibiotic, avoiding the, the cycle of failed treatments. Resistance guided therapy, in my view, has been a major game changer, probably I think the most important game changer in the last two or three years in the management of bacterial sexually transmitted infections. I was notified by a sexual partner that uh, there was the possibility that, that I might have MGen. So that was the first time that I had a suspicion and then once those test results came back it then turned out that, that I was indeed positive um, for MGen and also it seemed that I had a resistant form of MGen as well. One of the benefits of getting resistance testing done up front is being able to make sure that I get on the right treatment plan from the start. This has revolutionised the way we can manage our patients. We can get the patient treated quicker and appropriately with the right drug. And that saves time coming to the clinic, it saves extra testing for the patient and extra cost for the hospital. The financial impact of getting the test right the first time is, is massive. SpeedX was started as a vehicle to commercialise the technology that we had developed together. Basically we'd lost our jobs at Johnson & Johnson, so they didn't exist anymore. And then along came the global financial crisis and uh, Johnson & Johnson made the decision to close various research operations around the world. This provided us with the opportunity to take the technology we'd developed and take it out to the world. The real shift from us in terms of shifting from a, uh, a licensing model where we enable partners to use our technology to ultimately taking the technology and developing our own products came out of, I guess, the, the effectiveness of how our technology was being applied. When we look at how Biocardis has taken our technology and created a range of personalized diagnostics for oncology, we saw very much needs within other areas that we thought we could address. So one of our key features of the SpeedX team is we don't think we're the experts. We don't feel that we have all the answers. So we really reach out to people in the community, to the, the key researchers in each field, to actually work with them to develop any of our tests. The job is never done. And one of my roles in the company is to continue to try and look a very long way ahead for new technology. The, the job at hand is being done more by uh, Elisa and, and Colin and the uh, team to develop a fabulous bunch of uh, products, but we still very much uh, like the inventing side of it and uh, that's, what, that's what gets me out of bed in the morning, though I'm highly cognizant of there's no point in inventing anything unless you can actually make, it, make a difference to, for people's lives. 